Okay, so one quick question, and I really want you to think about it good. Are you enjoying your weight loss journey? And if that answer is no, then you are doing it all wrong. So while you think about that answer, let's jump into this video. Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Stasia and I've recently lost 50 pounds following a whole food plant-based diet. So today's video, I'm going to be talking about the best weight loss advice that I followed to get this weight off. A lot of you who follow me already know that, you know, getting this weight off didn't just come easy for me. For years, I've struggled with my weight. So when I tell you that I know the struggle, believe me when I say so, because I do. So I know how frustrating it can be to feel that you take two steps forward and then 10 steps back, you know, how you give it your all and then you throw in the towel and start from scratch all over again on Monday. Believe me, I have been there. And the craziest thing of all for me is that I think a lot of us know what foods to eat. I mean, for the most part, I know there's a lot of confusion in the world today. Eat this, don't eat that, you know, don't breathe the air anymore. Like we hear some really, really ridiculous things now and really confusing and conflicting messages. But I'm saying, generally speaking, we know that, you know, eating a cheeseburger is not as good as eating an apple. You know, we know at least the very basics of nutrition. Even most children can probably tell us what would be the healthier option. So if we know that eating a couple of apples or a bowl full of grapes is going to be a lot healthier than eating a bag of chips or a bowl of chips, and we know that it's also going to likely support us in our weight loss journey instead of making it worse. So then the question really is, why don't we just do that? And while that does seem, you know, quite simple, logical and straightforward, it's amazing how much there is to unpack in that answer. And that is why so many of us struggle to get the weight off. And this is coming from someone who has always had a passion in nutrition, holistic health. I was raised as a vegetarian. And even then, I still just couldn't get out of my own way when it came to weight loss. So today's video, I'm going to be unpacking some of that answer, at least from my personal experience and where I was coming from and how I was finally able to get out of my own way. All right, but before we jump into that, I just wanted to give a quick update. Uh, so a few weeks ago, I had posted this video where I was just talking about how I hit a plateau at that 50 pound mark. So I hit 50 pounds and then things just kind of started to slow down, even though I was doing the exact same things that I was doing to get the 50 pounds off. And while I'm not someone who, you know, really focuses on the number, I actually seriously care more about how my clothes are fitting and how I feel I look, you know, than I actually do about any number on the scale which is so freeing by the way. But at any rate, um, I did jump on the scale recently and to my lovely surprise, I am down another five pounds. So my total weight loss to date is 55 pounds. And I can't help but say that, you know, I was a little bit excited to see that scale shift since I have been implementing some new things. Well, or should I say old things? I kind of went back to square one, like I mentioned I was going to do in that video. And that was just to get back into my daily shakes as well as start implementing a little bit of exercise, which I just recently got a new walking pad. So I've been doing both of those things and I'm really happy to say that the weight is starting to shift again. And in case you're new here and you're wondering about exactly what I was eating to get this weight off, then I will have a bunch of my videos posted in my description box below and they will go into great detail about exactly what I did. And also right now I am running an amazing spring sale on all three of my weight loss recipe eBooks. This one being my most recent and honestly, it's like a blueprint to how I got those first 30 pounds off. I literally kept track of everything that I was eating because I knew I would wanna share it with you guys. And then I put it together as an eBook with the recipes that I was consuming the most to get that first 30 pounds off. And I've personally continued to eat these exact recipes to now get to 55 pounds off. And I've heard from so many of you that you're also having some wonderful luck. So if you're interested in checking out those books or grabbing a copy for yourself, again, all three are on sale for only 10 bucks, which is literally less than the price of the original price of one of them. So it's a really great deal. I try to keep them super affordable so that anyone can enjoy these recipes and get back on track with their health and weight loss goals. So if you want to check those books out, then the link can be found in my description box below. All right, so we're going to go back to that initial question that I asked you in the beginning of this video. And that was, do you enjoy your weight loss journey? So for me, if you would have asked me that, you know, well, I don't know, you could pick any year. I was going to say a year ago or two years ago or three years ago, pick any year. If you would have asked me in the past if I enjoyed my weight loss journey, 
that would have been a very fast, quick and easy hard no. I mean, I can honestly say that probably not too many people do, which is quite unfortunate now knowing what I know. If you ask me now, am I enjoying my weight loss journey? That would definitely be a hard yes. So there are some major differences this time around and I can honestly say that it has not been brutal, it has not been dragged out or difficult or any of those things that I used to experience before. And there's some very specific reasons for that. And one of them being that I actually enjoy my food. Now I talk a lot about this on my channel or I just throw in the little you know snippets here and there that I'm like you need to enjoy your food and while that might just sound like something you know whatever not too significant it actually really is because in the past that exact reason would have been something to just throw me off my tracks throw in the towel and just be done with it because oftentimes I was trying to eat foods that you know someone else was eating and I would just be trying to choke it down without actually enjoying it or I would be trying to follow you know some professional strict eating plan to the T and it didn't really work out with my schedule or my budget or whatever the reason and it would only last so long. In the past I've also tried things like meal prepping only to learn that I don't actually really enjoy meal prepping. In fact I love ingredient prepping. I love making extra when I'm preparing a meal and having some leftovers. That's a huge win. But in terms of meal planning in the sense of you know making the same meal for seven days in a row and eat the same thing every day at this time and Aye, aye, aye. It was just way too overcomplicated for what it needed to be. So once I realized that I needed to stop following exactly what someone else was doing or following a certain book to the exact T, even though it didn't really work that well with me for whatever reason, whether the food wasn't sitting well with me, whether it was too time consuming or, you know, too expensive, whatever the reason, if it's not meshing with you well, then it's very unlikely that it's going to be something that you can stick with long term. So I can't stress the importance of making your weight loss journey work for you. This is something that is meant to be long term and therefore it's meant to be enjoyable. Otherwise, what is the point in all of this, right? The end goal is not necessarily just to be skinny and to be smaller and, you know, to wear the clothes that you've dreamt of wearing. We want to be healthy and happy and actually enjoy our life. And it's quite possible to enjoy the process of getting healthier and getting more fit rather than just feeling like you're being dragged through the mud. So that is a really important question I encourage you to sit with. Are you enjoying your weight loss journey? And again, if the answer is no, then I think that there is definitely room for improvement. Okay, so that actually brings me to my next point, which is trial and error. So it's just kind of going hand in hand with, you know, trying to figure out what works best for you, not what some specific book told you to do or, you know, what meal plan was outlined for you to follow, but rather finding out what works for you. There are so many different ways that we can lose weight. Let's just be honest. The real factor here is that we need to be in a calorie deficit in order to see the weight be released. I chose eating an oil-free whole food plant-based diet simply because A, it's healthy and B, it was just so much easier than anything else. You know, I don't have to track calories because most of the foods that I'm consuming are super low in calorie density. But even just taking a whole food plant-based diet, there are multiple different ways that people suggest following this lifestyle. Some say oil-free, some say a little bit of oil can't hurt, you know, some say heavy on the starches and others say, oh, be careful on the starches, eat more non-starchy vegetables. Some people promote um, eating high raw, some people promote eating cooked vegetables, it's easier on your digestive system. There's so many different things that we're constantly hearing, even when it's narrowed down to a specific niche. So my point being that even once you've decided on a certain lifestyle, like a whole food plant-based lifestyle, there can still be many layers there that you need to pull back to figure out exactly how it will work best for you. So for me personally, there was a lot of trial and error that I went through, um, you know, a few things from the top of my head. And again, I do have videos in my description box where I go into more detail about this stuff. But a couple things for me was when I first started my weight loss journey, I was heavily focused on eating a lot of starches. I was eating more along the lines of the starch solution, which I still eat very much along those lines, but I was just more starch heavy. And I really did buy into the notion that I could eat as many starches as I want and then still lose weight. 
and that just was not the case for me. So I started to ease up on the amount of starchy vegetables and started to include more non-starchy vegetables with those starches. And for me, that was the perfect balance to fill me up and at the same time keep me full all while keeping me in a calorie deficit. The other thing that I did was I omitted overt fats out of my diet and that was a big game changer for me and I talk extensively about that on my channel because in the past you know I really didn't think that that little piece of avocado toast or that dressing that was heavily nut based was making that big of a difference because even when I was eating those things I didn't think that I was eating a ton of those things but what I later learned is that it's truly what we do consistently most of the time that produces the results whether it's the results we want or don't want so eating those higher fat plant based foods were accumulating for me without me even really realizing it. Until I cut them out of my diet, I realized how much of an impact they were actually having on my weight loss efforts. So when I cut out the nuts and seeds and avocado and of course oil, the weight really started to come off at that point. So that was a huge, huge game changer for me. Okay, so my third point I wanna drive home is consistency. And if I could say this word a thousand times over, there was only one word that I could choose to represent my weight loss journey, then it would be consistency. Please do not take this one lightly because here's the thing. I was an all or nothing girl every other time that I attempted to lose weight. I went from being a couch potato to a marathon runner overnight. You know, that Monday morning when I was feeling fresh and at the top of my A game, I would just give it all like I had been training my whole life, you know? And I would go from eating poorly to just eating super clean on that same Monday, you know, with no grace in any of that. Like it was just hardcore from one extreme to the next extreme. And then once I wasn't able to keep up with that, you know, three days in or so, then I'd be throwing in the towel because I slipped up and I wasn't perfect the way that I had set out to be. And this vicious cycle lasted year after year after year. I cannot tell you how many Mondays there were that I was going to start over. So when I tell you consistency was the biggest lesson that I've learned in my most recent weight loss journey, I am not exaggerating because what I learned is even if I messed up, but I kept going, it really didn't have that much of an impact on my overall weight loss journey, right? Whereas in the past, I thought that, you know, even if I did three solid days of being really, really good, you know, and then on that fourth day, I slipped up. For some reason in my brain, I was like, I ruined everything. I ruined it all and would just throw in the towel. But silly me, because had I just realized, well, I just did three really, you know, optimal type of days, that one day really wouldn't have meant anything if I had just jumped back on the horse and continued the next three days being really super awesome. Then in the bigger picture of that, that one day wouldn't have really mattered. And that right there was a huge eye opener for me. So even in my most current weight loss journey, I'm down 55 pounds. Have I been perfect every single day? No. Did I turn into a marathon runner overnight? Absolutely not because I actually didn't exercise at all to get this weight off. Not that I'm proud of that, but just saying, <laughs> you know, so no, I didn't have to be an extremist to get the weight to come off. I just had to keep going and truly there it is right there. I just had to keep going. I had to stop beating myself up mentally. I had to stop acting like anyone on this earth is perfect, including myself. And I just had to give myself some grace that it's okay. This is all kind of a learning process and it's life as well. So this isn't some race or something that really has an end in sight. This is just me trying to figure out how to live my life for the rest of my life. So when I changed my perspective from being, you know, on a diet or just doing this just to lose weight to I'm changing my lifestyle. This is me living. Sometimes things happen, but we persevere. We continue on. Let's just keep going. When I changed it to that, then the weight started to come off. I stopped overcomplicating things. I stopped berating myself. I stopped throwing in the towel once I deemed myself to be imperfect when I was never perfect or otherwise I wouldn't even be in this situation that I was in. Like some of the things are so ridiculous when they become an afterthought. In the moment, it seems to make sense to you, right? Or that or we just don't even give it enough thought to make sense of it or not. But afterwards, you kind of feel almost silly looking back and thinking about all the ways that I used to put myself down or just throw in the towel and give up so easily for what? 
And I mean, if you really stop and think about it, this is no different from anything else. Some days we wake up feeling amazing, like we're on top of the world, we're in a good mood, we have a pep in our step, you know, we're ready to go to work, we're friendly with people. And then other days we wake up, didn't sleep really great, you know, hormones could be out of whack. That time of the month, if you're a lady, you know, feeling crusty and musty and just not yourself, maybe even acting out of character with certain people, not a lot of patience. We are ever changing and ever fluctuating in how we feel and how we are day to day. So why on earth would anything else be expected when it comes to your health and weight loss journey? Some days are gonna be good, some days are gonna be bad. Can we just accept that? The moment you can accept that, then you can get rid of the all or nothing mentality and just keep going. So the next time you're having an off day or a bad day, just remind yourself that that's just today that tomorrow can be totally different. Two days from now, you might wake up with that pep in your step again. So just keep going until you get there. All right, everyone, so I'm gonna leave the video here. I haven't made a video like this in a minute. I've been really busy in the kitchen making recipes. I've been finding so many different yummy, delicious meals that I've been enjoying. And I just, every time I find one and make one, I'm just so excited. I can't wait to get them out to you guys so that you can enjoy them as well. So I have a huge list of things to show you. So if you are interested in more recipes and more videos like today of encouragement to keep going on your weight loss journey, and you're new here, then I'd love to have you stick around. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button on your way out. And listen, this used to be me, not that long ago either. That used to be me for years. So I know the struggle and I understand the frustrations. So when I say that if I can do it, this girl, this girl right here did it, you can do it too. So just please follow this advice. You know, consistency is everything. Just keep going. Trial and error is totally normal, perfect, and encouraged. Figure out what works for you. And lastly, this is a lifestyle, so you need to enjoy the process. There is no end goal. There is no end goal. This is just your new way of figuring how to live for the rest of your life in the most happy and healthy way that you can. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you found value in today's video, please give it a big thumbs up for me because it does tell the algorithm that I'm doing a good job and it will help push my content a little bit further to other people who also might need to hear these words. And just a reminder, if you're in need of some more oil-free whole food plant-based recipes that will support your health and weight loss journey, then again, all three books of mine are on sale for only $10 for a limited time. So the link for that will be found in my description box below. Thanks again for watching and we will see all of you in the next one.